God, Emmanuel. I'm here to give a testimony. There are many, but I just want to give uh, just little. Since I've been coming here, God has been faithful to me. Firstly, I was somewhere applying for my permit. First time I put in a, um, the application, it was rejected. Second time, it was rejected. Then a friend of mine come, of mine come to me and say, my friend, I know earlier you can go that this your permit will work out. I say, where is that? He says, Shekinah. I say, yeah, what, what is Shekinah? I don't want to go to all those church that whenever they touch you, they take God's own out and put their own. I'm not going to that church. So one day, as I'm continuing putting application up to seven times, it was not coming out. Then I now called this guy and said, my friend, can you come? Can you take me to that church you said, Shakaina? Said, okay, you are ready to follow me now. I said, yes. But the guy is not even attending the church. Then one day, I, I said, when do you think we can go? He said, Thursday is a deliverance service. I said, okay, what time? He said, three o'clock. Believe me, before one o'clock, I'm already ready. Then I called him, I said, let's go. When we got here, a man of God was preaching. He saw me, look at me, say, my friend, sit here. I look at him, I say, who is this man? So I continue coming to the church. After a few days, I tried to put in application again. Without being told, I received a call that your application is ready. I went there. My application was successful. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. They gave me three years permit. I said, it means that church is a very strong church. I will be continuing coming to the church. Even before Sunday, around 8 o'clock, I'm already here, waiting for other members to come to the church. After a few days, I received a call from Home Affairs again, because already I put in my, what do you call? In a, a PR. As long as my permit is not coming out, I'm not expecting the PR. I received a call from the Home Affairs. Please, your permit is ready. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, before you go any further, once again, we want you to take it from there and tell us more. How many times have you been applying and getting denied before you later got the opportunity to come and meet the servant of God, Prophet Isaka? Yeah, it was seven times. Even finally, when the, it's like the application was going to one somebody's only person's, one person's desk, he said, my friend, I hereby tell you now you can never get this application, you can never get this your permit with their file, give you 14 days to leave the country. That is seven times. And I was putting a heavy amount to put the, the, all the documents together. It was not just easy. But with, the, with God and with the, uh, the power in this house, immediately I put the other, the, fourth, the eighth application. My permit comes out easily without stress. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, so you said that after seven rejections, you now have an encounter with the servant of God, Prophet Isaka. After what, when you meet the man of God here in the church, what did he tell you that gave you assurance that the next application will not be rejected? Yeah, when... He just passed, passed, he was preaching, go down that side, coming back, he said, my friend, sit here. That's just it. Then all the rest application was coming it easy. I didn't even stretch for it anymore. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. 
You can continue with your testimony, sir. Yeah, I went to pick up the, uh, the PRO. After getting the PRO, they said I must put in the application for the ID. Then I put in the application. Within a few days, I still receive a call. Your application is, your ID is ready. Come for collection. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Say, we can see you holding some documents on your hand. This is my PRO. And this is my ID. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let someone say, I'm serving a God of miracles. Say, I'm serving a God of wonders. Say, I'm go serving a God of miracles. Hallelujah. Say, you can quickly go on and tell us more. Yeah, that day when I came here, when I was uh, there on 101, then I went to man of God. Man of God said, what do you want? I said, I need my, I need my document. He said, go, it's done. That is how the ID comes out. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. The Bible said that a prophet of God shall say that which he shall live to see accomplished. Hallelujah. Say you can go on and continue with your testimony. And my second testimony goes like this. My second uh, testimony goes like this. I receive a call. I receive a call from home that my daughter is missing. I say, ah, it was a Sunday I received a call. That same Sunday, I asked my other children to send me her picture. Then, as man of God was addressing the congregation, I raised my, the picture of my daughter up. He said, who is that one? I said, that is my, is my daughter. He said, go, he's at home already. And really, before I left the church, you know, we always switch off the phone. When I go outside, I open my phone. I saw a missed call. Then I tried to call my children back. They say, my daughter is at home right now. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. And all the time, hallelujah. Say, please tell us, when the man of God gave you a word of assurance, how did you feel? Uh, without this one, I'll be experiencing. I don't, I don't need to doubt him. Even if I continue giving you people testimony, what God has been doing to me since I've been coming to this church, we will not live here today. But Amen. don't let me just give thanks to God for all he has been doing to me. But if I would not be coming to this church, I would have even lost about two, two of my children. But a man of God touches me. Everything turns around. Amen. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Surely, if we continue to listen to you, we will not live here today. Say, so I want to hear from, from you your own words of advice to those of us who are having pending documents or who have lost their loved ones, who have lost one thing or the other. Something probably went missing. What can you tell them? Ah, with my own testimony, the difference is clear. Just decide to be sitting here. All this fit seat is for you. Just come here and sit and listen to the man of God. And whatever he says, he must come out to, to, to the glory of God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Hallelujah. Say, we also stand here in the presence of God to encourage you that those whose lives are centered in Christ Jesus, better is not good enough, but the best is yet to, to come.